Hey, what's happening guys? It's Jalam in Tech here. Today I'm going to show you yet another how-to tutorial and it is how to basically edit PDF files on the fly on your iDevices. So when I say iDevices, obviously, you know, your iPhone, iPad, Apple laptops or Apple desktops. Okay. This is really useful for those who are on the fly because you don't need to print the document that you need to fill out you know let's say a form that got sent to you and they want you to fill it out and send it back you don't have to print it to fill it up sign it and scan it back it's just a lot of work so since about three years ago apple started letting us edit pdf files but a lot of people are not aware of it so i did a video about a year and a half ago on how to edit pdf files on the fly but that video has since been outdated because apple had had a couple updates on their ios so this video here will be an update on how to continue editing PDF files on the go. All right, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so for this demonstration, I basically sent myself a form that needs me to fill it up, put my signature on it, and then email it back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open my mail here. And you can see right here, that's the mail that got sent to me from myself and uh, there's the PDF file. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and tap it and open it just like you would open any PDF file. Okay. So before uh, on the previous video, you would have like a briefcase, like a markup icon. You click on that and it lets you edit it. But now it's actually gotten a lot easier, but Apple did not explain this. So, you know, a lot of people don't know how to go about it. So you're looking at the PDF file right now, right? This is the PDF file. Basically is the W9 as an example that I need to fill out, right? So all you have to do is just really just click on the respective fields. So I'm just zooming it in because on iPhone it's a little bit small. So I'm zooming it in so you see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's say I need to put my name on here. I'll go ahead and just tap. You can see that my keyboard comes in, right? And then you can see the cursor, right? So right here I can go ahead and put, for example, you know, just put that space, fill whatever I need to fill in there. Okay. It's a little bit harder, obviously, to do it on your phone, but it certainly can be done. And I'll do it in my phone 10 times over than printing it out, filling, filling this form out, signing it and then scanning it back. You know, especially when I'm traveling, I just simply don't have time for that or access to do that. Right. So once you do that, you know, you can see that on the address bar, I can go ahead and put my address also. So one, two, two, three, you know, you get the idea. Don't get any ideas, guys. This is not my actual social, obviously. So, all right. So you can see here where it says date. The date, however, depending on the form, doesn't let us do anything. And I'll show you how to fix that. All right. And so is the signature. This section right here where you put in your signature and date, you will need another step to do that. So when you're looking at my screen right now, you can see that icon right there in the top right corner, just right underneath the battery. That's your markup icon. So when you go ahead and click on that, you're going to see that you're going to have some options here at the bottom, right? So you can do handwriting, highlighters, erasers, whatsoever, right? And you can see on the bottom right corner, you see a plus icon right there. So we'll go ahead and press the plus icon. And on here, the very first one, you have text, right? So on the text, if I want to add the date and it's not letting me, this is where I would click. This one gets a little trickier, but it's not that difficult. Okay, so once you get the text right here and it's highlighted, you just press on it once. And you're going to see this icon right here. And then you have three options. So what you want to do is edit. And this keeps shifting around because I zoomed it in. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay. But if you're on the full screen, you will not get that. All right. So we'll go ahead and put, you know, the date. So that will be today's day. So now what we need to do is we click out of it and we need to do some editing to it. So obviously it's a little bit too big and we also need to move it. So first you click on it to highlight it. This time, once you had something in that text box you're gonna have three options right here and then the one in the middle with the font size that's what we need so you see the two a's the small and the big basically that means uh, you can format the font size and style right so i usually go with something that is closest to a handwriting right there so that's the noteworthy and then you know you can use this slider right here and reduce the size of the text right right here and uh, just keep in mind, guys, that uh, you want to kind of match it with, uh, you know, the rest of the text. So it's not too big, but it's not too small either. Right. OK. And then once you're done with that, that's all we need to do in that section. Click outside to get out of that option. And then while it's still highlighted, just click on it and hold and drag it down. 
don't hold too hard because if you have one of the newer iPhones you might go into the 3D option obviously this will be a lot easier when you're on your Mac but it's totally doable okay so that is fulfilled for the date side so now we need to go ahead and put in signature right so we click outside right and then while we're still on this option we go back to that plus icon right there in the bottom um, right of the screen click it and then next we're gonna go ahead and do what signature okay you can add or remove signatures as well what's cool about this option is that once you have your signature added once and then you have iCloud set up it will sync across all your devices so in other words um, this same signature when I go into edit PDFs on my Mac on my iPad and my Mac desktop I'll get the same signature so again just like kind of what we did to the text uh, the signature is a little bit too big so while it's highlighted click on one of the corners okay and you drag it towards the, the opposite corner okay and that will make it smaller you can see I'm dragging it right and that seems perfect and then I'll just drag it in and boom so be careful while you're in this also because once you drag you will see that you you do some lines right here but you can go ahead and undo don't worry about that so once you're done you did everything and you're done what you can do is hit done okay and then uh, it will give you options. This is also new. So if this was a group email, you can reply to all. Or if it's a new message you're sending to someone, you can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit reply all. Once you did that and hit done, you will see that the PDF came back to the reply screen. And it's already filled in. So now I'll go ahead and send it. I don't know if I have internet, but okay. So it looks like it came through already. All right. So you will see that the filled out PDF is here. So I can open it and boom you can see that it's got all the stuff that I filled in so whoever you're sending this to this is what they're gonna see so as you can see I mean this only took me a couple minutes and I did not need to print fill out the form by hand and then rescan it it's just a lot of work so I'm so happy that Apple brought this and my intention is just to share the message with you all because a lot of people don't know this so please if this video is helpful please give it a thumbs up and uh, also subscribe for more videos I uh, make videos like this pretty often to help people and uh, you know educate people out there